Ladies and gentlemen, your favorite WWE Supercard YouTuber is back. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for another WWE Supercard Season 8 video. I'm not going to be saying that for much longer because Season 9 is right round the corner. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day as you're watching this. If you are and you feel in a really good mood with PDE, make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new and let's get into it. Now, apologies, there's not been a Supercard video for a while. Um, I have still been playing the game, not as much. Obviously, with the release of the new Football Manager game, I have been playing that a little bit more. Um, I've been playing that a lot actually I've obviously been playing this but it's just been really hard to record and um, because I've been a bit under the weather as well and you'll be able to if you watch the uh, football manager stuff as well you'll be able to hear it in that but um but here we go and I do have a lot of stuff in the backlog with Supercard which I am gonna get all scheduled and all put together and everything so you're gonna be getting a I would say you're going to be getting a lot more WWE Supercard content going forward. Um, it's not like I've like magically found the time to do it. It's just I think I'm a little bit more eager now because I'm really close to 400 subscribers and I would really like to get it before Christmas. It would be awesome if we could. But let's get into it. Obviously, we've got the Mandy Rose ring domination as we start. I've only got one shard so far. I've got the weekend off. Don't know how much of this I'm going to play, but uh, the SummerSlam BCE. And I would really like to get the Arcane because that's Asuka and that is a pro for me. And that will really help. This is what the top eight is looking like at the moment. You can see that I'm just around the second plus. So I'm not quite at... Um, full plus plus but you can see i have got the two becky lynches here which i obviously haven't proed um obviously when i do that um that should do it plus i have got brock lesnar to pro from the uh like halloween event um and also a few others there as you can see i don't think hogan down to top dollar are going to make any difference to the top eight but uh brock and becky certainly are with those i think we will make it to whatever the next uh tier is going to be obviously season nine if we have a look at the calendar i'm pretty sure it is going to be wednesday the 16th of november so about what 10 days away 11 days away 11 days away as i'm recording this and you should be seeing this video the same day i'm recording it as well because yeah why not um we've also got a two plus here um two draft picks starting from the 5th of november which is today from 12 p.m pacific so i think that's either 6 at 5 p.m or 6 p.m for me so a little bit of time to go for that but that's all good um it's a shame they're not going to have it for the team events because that would be cool if they did so obviously we've got the mandy rose event like i just said we've got ring domination then the pro will be road to glory um i wonder if we're going to have like a, a flash event as well um uh, just, well, I mean, possibly, maybe, may, oh, I don't know, actually, because obviously Road to Glory will go into Monday, so probably not, so probably going to be no Flash event, which is a tad, tad shame, oh god, that makes no sense, Austin Theory is my reward from that, he's already proed, that is uh, cool, I guess, we'll do that. So I have been saving some stuff up for, obviously, uh, Season 9. If we have a look at my tickets, they're not too bad. 216, and I have got some in the uh, inbox that I need to claim. We do have the Desperado quest going at the moment as well, which is the Raquel Gonzalez. haven't got myself a single of this yet, but this is a guaranteed card for me. So hopefully I can get that. Um, there is still six days left on this quest, so plenty of time to do it. I think the difficult thing for me is the super moves. Um, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. PvP. Um, recently, I've only been getting two momentum slots, which is obviously not good. Uh, but it will get better. I'm going to be playing a lot over the weekend and, uh, and everything. Now, um, TBG, um, I still need to get my attacks in, but um, hopefully we'll win that. Uh, group 2 is obviously playing as well. Uh, stomping Grounds, now, um, I think leading up to the new, uh, probably about a week before the new season drops, I'm going to be pushing everyone to play Stomping Grounds, and we just keep our rewards. 
because obviously you get uh, draft picks and everything. I mean, keep the winners' rewards. The losers' rewards don't really matter. Just claim those because you don't get exclusive draft picks. You get exclusive draft picks when you win. Save them for when the new season drops, and uh, you hopefully get some good stuff. So um, there we go. Now um, with the information about season nine, obviously uh, here it is. Um, well, I'll show you a website. Where the hell not? So a new season is on the horizon. Launches this November, November sixteenth to be specific, and everything. So a uh, what is coming at the launch of it? So tables, ladders, and chairs. A new I can't say that word mode where you you and a foe take turns guessing where each other have hidden their tables, ladders, and chairs on a grid. Basically like battleships. So, uh, I mean, that's all right, I guess. It depends what the rewards are and how long the games take. So, that's not too bad. Announcer cards, a uh, new item for the collection. I always like additions to the collection. A uh, Champ boost pluses. Uh, adding support acknowledgements, undisputed champions. Adding additional support for many other belts. So, Intercontinental us uh, tag teams maybe so that's good special equipment big boost to select stats think of it a new way to personalize your cards further so better equipment basically chat jewels now that we think about it it's kind of weird that you've never been able to enter a friendly match of supercard against a friend or foe but now you'll be able to do that with season 9 in chat jewels this is a feature for watch party specifically okay so they're keeping watch party going enabling you to challenge people to best of three style matches. Three stages of hell. Uh, here comes the pain. Shut your mouth. Yeah, those were the days. Three new tiers with a twist. You're going to love these cards and the way the stats slide in and out from a panel on the side. Hmm, interesting. It's also important for us to talk about how we'll be looking backwards in Season 9. And that's more growing crucial over time. Turns out that when you make new stuff, the older stuff automatically feels older. Who knew? I flaming well knew. Okay, so here's what we're knocking out first, but not at the launch. A true battle pass. We've tweaked the super pass in a way to get the best of both worlds, but it's clear that you will want a battle pass. Interesting. Redefining PvP and teams via work on their modes. We believe that teams should offer passive benefits and we're exploring that. We're also exploring changes to War 2. Okay, interesting. Uh, card, stat bans, yada yada yada. Oh! Some of our new friends are, are finding it hard to see what stats are better, specifically modes of Survivor. Okay, interesting. Tweaking, turning, and even rethinking fusions and fusion promos. Yeah. I've changed to the fusion chamber, possibly. That's, just, that's cool. So, some of this will come at subtraction, which is going to be sound funny at first. Clear from the feedback that Pack Battle and Chart Topper don't occupy unique spaces in the game, so they have been officially removed. They're considering iteration for the Supercard Hall of Fame, however, is unknown. There's obviously a lot more stuff to come in the future. S season 10 is going to be a fantastic moment for the game, but we hope you enjoyed the build for it up until during Season 9. So they're already looking ahead to Season 10, which I think is interesting. So, uh, yeah... I'm really looking forward to this, and uh, yeah, that is going to be pretty damn awesome. Pretty damn awesome. Pretty damn awesome. So, guys, I am like I say, I am going to be putting out more supercar content over the next weeks, months, and everything. I'm going to be doing now. I want to. I want to make at least three WWE supercard videos a week, maybe more. We'll see how we go, but I'm going to stick to that. Uh, like, I'm not going to give, like, days or times, but if you're in the UK, it'll be a bit... I'm, I'm going to say it'll probably be later. If I put a video out in the UK, it'll be around 8pm, because, obviously, I want to incorporate the America, the overseas viewers as well, it's just so it's, it matches. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, pop a like on there for me. Subscribe if you're new, 
and uh, I will see you again very, very soon. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again maybe tomorrow, because Parker's a good boy.